you never know. Sometimes you can make it work. Kirby Kid with King K. Rule, you know, there's always got to be those, those warriors. First game is upon us. Who is going to take it? Will player seven carry us into a second set or is a coward going to clean it up for the fourth chapter in a row? Things about to get hyped indeed. Let's get it. Let's get the hypes in the chat. If you're a sub, you had a hype emote yet, yeah, but you know, you got to use it. If you, in case you're wondering what that is, that's actually a Rocket League car. Because we also have a Rocket League team and we do, do Rocket League as well. All right, there we go, though. Back to the actual world. It's going to be town and city, and it's a coward. You know, it doesn't matter how long he's been waiting. He's still looking like he's ready for these Ws. Player 7, though, in shambles right now with 66%. Still finally able to tally on something. It's like scraps, though, but there you go. Those are the big hits he needs by almost landing into that arc fire. But a great job of utilizing that up B here to get, out of, get himself out of that situation. Next arc fire could prove to be problematic, though. And a high ceiling here in town and city is going to allow for player 7 there to get out of that sinking situation. He does have the oil panic on deck. He connects, but it's not going to be that strong considering it's a lot of multi hits that are able to, you know, that they, they latch on to. You know what? We could we could raid uh, player seven after this. Actually, we could do that. Let's do that. Remind me after uh, dark. All right, boom. We're gonna see player seven though take it away. Going to get this W right now with the first stock and the coward is going to have to try to find a way to uh, bring an end now. Unfortunately, they're pa uh, panicking just a little bit. Couldn't go um, to, to punish that in time. Very unfortunate here as we're going to see player 7 still running away with this lead and getting those big hits there. But great stuff there. Coward pressuring that shield, able to go and get the back throw to end things. You don't want to let your opponents live for way too long with their stock, especially when you have some great momentum going with it, because they just, they're just going to dash. Yo, dash like Sonic, man. they out of there. Trying to go for that shield poke. Uh, could he connect with it this time around? As player 7 is starting to adapt very well, utilizing the up B here to get himself out of any sticky situations, which we're not necessarily seeing in the last few sets. Ever since, uh, Lu not Lucario 1, sorry. Um, oh yeah, it was Lucario 1. Ever since with Lucario 1, able to realize, you know what? I can get myself out of these combo strings. Just going to go ahead here, up B. The difference here, remember, second place will get five bucks. First place getting 20. That's some big bucks. You know, one of them's like an eShop cart. The other one's just, I don't know, gummy gummy bears at the convenience store. A coward, though, is gonna be, it's gonna be unfortunate. Obi couldn't connect. Yeah, couldn't come back on to the stage in time, and that's gonna be it with a player seven once again here with a very strong lead. Continuing on this pressure, looking for the Ws. Player seven realized, did he adapt? Did he find the answers? A coward, though, is going to get the backer here. Not going to get the kill, surprisingly. But that hit super hard. You saw that, man. You saw those red flashes. You know that was almost over with. Percentage is starting to get extremely high, though. So if this coward wants to get this comeback going, he's got to get something here. Got to put this stock to rest. A coward. Great decision making. Realizing, you know, man, I love that. I love that spatial awareness. Realizing, yo, you know what? This homie's trying to style on me, but my recovery is going to allow me here to get back onto the other side of the stage. Able to keep the stock alive even longer, but that border here is going to send him flying. Cooking away here to keep a coward off. And it's going to be, yo, the oil spill. Let's go, America. Going to go ahead here with the oil spill onto a coward here to get the first game. Oh, my God. I mean, uh, to answer Croc's question, the, the, yeah, the seeding is, we have a seeder for it, so it's not necessarily for SOS, but I mean, if you're dominating SOS, then yeah, it seems that you have a level up here. Some some players do play better in different tournament series. I, I, I'm not even joking. <laughs> Yo, man. Saw that oil spell. Let's take that oil spell again. Let's get that oil spell again. Look at this. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about it? Already got ourselves a heated game one between these two juggernauts. Remember a coward right now? Looking to get four chapters in a row. Player sevens looking for the bag. Just keep in mind, by the way, I mean, a coward is way overqualified on this part, but you need to at least enter three events in the season. 
Just keep that in mind. You need to be in at least three events in the season uh, to qualify for the PR. I just realized that Player 7 is rocking the uh, Sheldon, Sheldon Splatoon icon. What the heck? All right, so back to town and city we go. I have to say, you know, a bit surprised, but a cow is showing a lot of versatility on many different stages. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a big deal. I'm sure, like you know, you saw just how strong of a start he had in the last game, and somewhere along the line, player seven just got all the momentum and ran with it. Oh man, so many follows today, man! All the homies coming in super nicely, yo. Thank you so so much. It's ANG Esports, you're tuning in here to our weekly, yes, this is just a weekly, but we put in all the love into it, you know, that's why it's a good entertainment, that's why you got a lot of strong players show up, and you're seeing them too right now, as we're going to be in grand finals between a coward and player 7, up there, strings here to apply a lot of pressure, and the coward's definitely doing such a phenomenal job of keeping his stock alive. Up throw here with a follow up into the up B for player 7 to finally get something going, but damn, that forward smash can be coming in, actually no way, that forward tilt I think it was, gonna clean it up nicely a coward's gonna take the stock lead now you gotta watch out though player seven with a great read from the roll off that ledge and still looking to try to keep them off the stage i think i really like that player seven recognizing what their strengths are realize you know what i get a lot of damage converted off of my off of my opponents when they're off the stage and he's been constantly always going ahead here and you see him meticulously trying to push his opponents off the stage and then go ahead and pressure them off as much as he can off the ledge Oil spill, not gonna get it though, because it wasn't strong enough. That was off just the arc fire. That is 120% though, as a coward is still doing it, but man, that air dodge is completely unfortunate. Homie went just flying to oblivion, couldn't do anything about it. And this is the great stuff there a coward does, you know, realizing, okay. He could change his playstyle depending on what he needs to do. Forward air here gonna hit so hard, but still not getting the kill. And the down air here to throw off the timing there. A coward could not punish player 7's landing. The thing about Game Watch is a very difficult character to hit. So even if they're at 112 you know, you have to make that one hit count. And you see right there, it's gonna be super unfortunate as Thoron's gonna go right through him. And now he had the chance to go with the follow up smash follow up. Couldn't connect with it in time, but he still at least has him on his toes at 133%. Arcfire, unfortunately, gonna get denied there by the up E as player seven there could take some more pressure. Forward air almost gonna hit. You gotta watch out for it. A coward going at it, being like, man, let's fight off the stage if you wanna. Fight off the stage if you gotta. I don't got time, man. Tell, tell Smash Tap to look it up. Uh, we're gonna get there. Nice little dash attack here and up B straight out of it. Oh, he's scooping it up. He's scooping it up. And he ain't cleaning for good causes, man. Oh, he went for it. Oh, he's gonna get a coward away. Up B recovery. I mean, that's, that's starting to make it kind of far, but he's just running out of MP. I think he can only up B one more time. This is his last time, and he is able to go and connect with it and get back onto the stage. A coward wants this victory scooped up into the oil pan and that's gonna be incoming for sure and at this percent oh no it's gonna be from right under the stage a coward unfortunately couldn't close it out with the two stocks and he was trying to charge up with a forward smash it's been a try testing true combo always being able to go and poke through their opponent's shielder and get those w's 36 percent as you see and, and a bucket spill too but the back here, he will finally do it. Man, a coward almost the, just losing that lead there. We are 1-1 one, one here in Grand Finals. That was a pretty strong performance here to come out from a coward in Game 2. Matching pretty much what we saw Player 7 do in the, in the first game. The only thing, though, you saw that once he lost that stock, oh, it started to get way too close for comfort. I love that up air there. You know, it's like, you know, player seven, 
it, it's like taking a fight to where player seven prefers it. Like I said beforehand, he really, really likes to get his opponents off on, off the stage because he finds that that's where he gets the best conversions. And he decided, you know what? Boom! I'm let me up air it. Out of here. Let's go. That the, is that is Rucario one Lucario one, <clears throat> dude. Your name Rucario should be your tag. That sounds so much cooler. That's awesome. All right, let's get it. Game three. Let's go. Final destination is going to be the pick, and it seems that player seven. You know, this is where he was able to take out Lucario one three times in a row. Three times in a row to make it this far. So why not use it, utilize it right here? A coward though, slowing down the gameplay for sure. Make, trying to bring the fight there to him and just keeping player seven at bay. But he's going to be able to bucket it through when you've seen just how much damage player seven has been able to do with these buckets. Coward's got to be very careful when he decides to utilize it. All right, backer coming in there. He's got the up E coming nicely. Boom, backer to up air. I really like that straight and still hitting it. Man, he's swinging that sword all over the place. And player seven, you know how it goes. He's got you off the stage. He's going to go for it. And we're going to see a coward take the fight to him right off. He's like, yo, Uno, boy, reverse. Uno, able to go and get here and get him off. Oh my god, that was crazy. A coward though has been using the recovery so much and you see that ball, I mean that book flying out of here. There, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do, man. Now that was crazy. That, that was honestly like, it's great when you start. That's, that's real adaptation right there. He knows, he knows that player 7 is so aggressive off the stage and decided, you know what, I'm just going to take the fight to him. Let's do it. Forward air though is going to do the trick. I mean, you're at 163%. I mean, it's got to go eventually. Right now though, player 7 trying to bring this fight back. You see how small that shield was. Even though if it broke, it wouldn't be too much of an issue. I mean, of course it would be some extensive damage, but it wouldn't be a loss of a stock just yet. Right now though, you see player 7 there charging up with that bucket. Definitely trying to find and be like, yo, fill this up. Please, please, please fill it up. This time though, we see a coward trying, starting to change their timing here on any of the projectiles. Couldn't connect with it. Oh my god, that up air was so close to landing. You gotta be careful of it. This percentage is starting to get way too high right now. Clue too close for comfort. And gonna be able to connect with the forward air as well. Boom! We're gonna see the arc fire snipe combo that we've seen so many times. And able to connect here onto uh, player seven. He is down a full stock right now. He's gotta find a way. He gotta bring it deep to get back in this. Double forward air here to examine the down air to go off the stage. And I like the fishbowl here to do some really great damage. Yo, he's cooking it up at the ledge. He is cooking. He wants to connect with it. Right now, though, we got to commend player seven so far in the last stock. Hasn't taken too much extensive damage. Still trying to keep the pressure here onto Coward playing like he's, he's in the lead. But as I say it, you know how it goes. The commentators, man, we open our mouths. It causes problems. But he is able to gentle him off the stage. And he's going to go for the back throw right here. Yes. A Coward not mashing, I got to say. He had to try to get out of that grab. I guess it don't matter. He's going to go with the arc fire into the up air right now and still continue it on. Man, when he's swinging that sword all over the place, well, player seven recognizing, okay, I know for sure he wants to try to shoot this, uh, um, this throw on on me. Too much arc fire pressure right now. Man, he's tossing that like an outfielder right now. Fuck it. Four days. Damn. He's going to be able to fly him. He'll fling him out of here. Player seven wants the second set. Throw on the charge though. 139%. It is a bit problematic. Forward air is going to do it. And a coward is up the set count 2-1. Oh, three steps ahead. Oh my god. What a set. What a set.
Right now, though, it does look like a coward is starting to get stronger per match. You got to be very, very careful of it. Dude, he's chucking that from the outfield, dude. Holy, I forgot just how far that thing goes. Oh, my God. What could potentially be the last match of today? Will a coward clutch it out, or are we going to be heading to a game five? The coward here, taking his time, just chucking everything at player seven. He's like, man, every time I come close to you, I'm just eating forward airs and nares. Let me just take my time right now. Boom, just like that. Already connected with a forward air. Couldn't get a follow-up from it. And instead, pressured away. Re recognizing, okay, you got that bucket. I can go ahead and punch that end line. Instead, player 7 realizing, okay, I got to get on this right real quick. Boom, what? That first stock flying out of here in less than 30 seconds right now. Coward is playing on fire. Down smash is going to connect, and he goes ahead with the tech chase. Great stuff here. And try to contest that throw on, and the backers actually going to get through it all. Player 7 is still playing like a contender. Not playing too, too afraid. Still trying to get in there and make something happen. A cow right now with that book here. Sending him back to the library with a double arc fire though. Up B couldn't save the day this time around. And you see now, unfortunately, here for Player 7, a coward has been able to tally on a decent amount of percent. Missing on the grab twice here. And a coward's going to charge up that throw on for days. The next one is going to be a bit scary. You see that up B there, changing the timing, the upper straight from the top. It's not looking too good here, folks. Where the player seven stands at, because it's not looking good. And there we go, at player seven, trying to find a nice little back here. And he's gonna have to try to up B right through the arc fire, but unfortunately landed right on it. Final destination is not looking like the way, because we're gonna see a coward right now. With a two stock lead only at 77%. Oh my god, what is going on? Player seven though is gonna be able to go and get get the bucket. It's time for the United States. Can he go ahead with that oil? He needs it, but a coward's gonna go with the nice little Sparatu, able to recover this uh this stock as much as he possibly can. It's on deck, releases it, couldn't do it though. Two Nosferatus right now. This is not looking good. He was trying to go for the dash attack, but the upbeat got him out of that situation. Player seven looking for the downer here to try to punish. The ledge trump, though, not going to be able to get and connect with it just yet. Forward here, connecting. A lot of pressure here onto the shield. A coward is looking here to try to end things. He's got the Levin Sword here in hand. Throw on unleashed. Is he going to Z drop it? Oh, there comes the arc fire pressure, man. What do you do about it? Unfortunately, could not release that. Back is going to connect. No, he's still 11. 114%. Player 7 does not want to go out without a fight. Down there here. Oh, no. Don't do it. Charging it up. There comes a the steel chair. Gentleman right here from the middle of the stage. That's actually going to do it, folks. You guys know what it's time for. It is a tree stock to end things here in today's Straight out of Smashville, Chapter 45. If you're a sub, you know what to do. You know what to do. Damn, in grands. That's crazy, bruv.